Yes, Anjali. Now introduce yourself. Ma, my, my name is Anjali Kapoor. Kapoor. I have. Uh, I'm, I'm from, from Patna. Patna. I have, I have completed, completed my graduation, graduation in the year 2019 from Chanakya National Law University, University and, and I have also completed my LLM, LLM uh, in the year 2022 mm-hmm. from Patna Law College. What are your hobbies? Ma'am, I uh, watch Hindi movies and listen Hindi songs. Which movie you have seen recently? Ma'am, recently I watched Section 375. What is about? Ma'am, Ma'am, it, it is, is about, about the differentiation between law and justice, and it has uh, uh, very prominently shown that how uh, even females have been using wrongfully using the Section 375 for taking sort of a revenge from people uh, from men. Okay, is if this type of some case is coming in your court, what will be your view? What will be you doing by your end? Ma'am. Um, as a court or oh, ma'am we have to go by the evidences hmm. okay, so ma'am, you will be studying to the evidences okay yes ma'am we are bound to ma'am okay fine okay okay what especially pushes you to become a judicial magistrate ma'am i have always been inclined for service or uh, to the service for people and after completing law i found that uh, through Uh, judiciary, I could serve my dream uh, to. Uh, uh, sorry, ma'am. I could fulfill my dream to serve the people. And ma'am, this job is equivalent, uh, is respectful, and uh, also ma'am gives job security. So ma'am, uh, also ma'am, it helps. See, uh, what you are saying, it's like you uh, primarily you want to serve the public. Okay, public yes, class. Ma'am. Okay, so why don't you go for the practice purpose? That is also that will be the, very much in the public relation. That yes, will be very ma'am. much open to the public welfare. Yes, yes ma'am. Uh, ma'am, because, because I, was I was always, always inclined, inclined to judicial, judicial services. services. My, My father, father is also, is also a lawyer, lawyer. Uh, so, so ma'am, ma'am, I had uh, seen the uh, seen the practice, practice judges, judges practice, 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 practice,
should have the quality to do justice in a fair and impartial manner. Uh, Ma'am should be very honest and have integrity of character. Okay. And uh, what are your strengths and weaknesses? Ma'am, um, my teachers always say that I'm a very good student. So, ma'am, uh, I can learn things. Uh, if somebody, uh, I can learn things easily. Um, so, ma'am, uh, this is my uh, strength and my weakness is, ma'am, uh, ma'am. Uh, Sometimes I get like a bit. Uh, ma'am, I lack a little bit of patience, ma'am, because uh, and this I got it like recently because, ma'am, the Bihar judiciary. Uh, after the mains and the interview, there was a lot of gap, so ma'am, I got a little bit impatient because of that. So ma'am, a bit of impatience, ma'am. In the previous question, you first point you said for the ideal judge was the patience, and in the second question, you are saying that I am little bit impatient. How will you balance both the things? Uh, uh, yes, yes ma'am, ma I must work on this ma'am. Ma ma I am patient ma'am ma because this delay got a little uh, longer, longer so ma'am. That okay. is fine. What do you see uh, strength and weaknesses in the current judicial system? Ma'am, ma uh, the, the strength, strength I see is that ma'am, women, women representation, representation is increasing. Uh, ma'am, ma especially in lower judiciary it has increased. Uh, because, because in Bihar, Bihar especially because, because of thirty five percent women reservation now. Mm. Mm. And weakness, so now there's still pendency of cases. Okay. And how uh, being a judge, how will you counter that uh, weakness? Ma'am, we could hear the cases on day-to-day -day basis and do not adjourn the cases unnecessarily with the, uh, like and the parties not. Uh, Giving if reasonable calls. Okay, fine. Coming to Bihar, uh, what are the two main festivals of Bihar? You are from Bihar itself. What are the, what are the two main festivals of Bihar? Ma'am, one is Chhat Puja, and ma'am, the other. Ma'am, there are very many festivals, but the Chhat Puja, like Bihar, is known for Chhat Puja. Name any other? Any, any two. One is the Chhat Puja, and another. Ma'am, the Shera. We, we celebrate with a lot of vigor and, and passion. Okay. Languages in Bihar? Uh, uh, Ma'am, uh, uh, Hindi, Bhojpuri, Bathli, uh, Maghai. Mm -hmm. Okay. If we talk about uh, education, in the Asian time, uh, name any two university in Bihar. Ma'am, Nalanda, Nalanda University. university. And uh, uh, ma'am, like, like it's the pre ancient, ancient, ancient time. So ma'am, there was like na. Malanda and ma'am, I'm forgetting the name. Another, another Gupta, Gupta ruler, ruler had established it, but I'm forgetting the name. Vikramshila. Yes, yes ma'am. Ma Vikramshila. Okay, and in, if we talk about the British time, in British time, name any two colleges. Ma'am, ma Patna, Patna College. College. Then uh, the Patna Medical, Medical College. Uh, Patna Medical no uh, College, what was it uh, named in the British time? What was the name Pam of the Medical, Medical College? Medical Medical College. Uh, okay. And which college? Ma'am Patna, Patna College, College 1916. 1916. Fine. Fine. What do you understand by Chalan? Coming to law portion, what do you understand by Chalan? Ma'am, if, if I, I could, could guess, guess, is Chalam equivalent, equivalent to charge sheet? Explain more. Yes, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, when uh, a police officer submits a uh, final report to the magistrate in which he discloses commission of an offence, that is charge sheet. Mm -hmm. See, Chalan is a type of once the investigation is over. Okay, under section 173, once the investigation is over and uh, it is then uh, given to the magistrate. It is little bit same as the uh, charge sheet, okay, but it is submitted under same uh, under section 173, okay. Uh, next question is that, okay, what is uh, the care to be taken under section 313 of CRPC by while recording the statement of an accused? Ma'am, the care. Hmm. 
by a judicial magistrate. Judicial magistrate has a power under section 113 uh, for the recording of the statement of accused. So what should be the care to be taken by the magistrate? Ma'am, I'm not getting the care of the thing, ma'am. Yeah. What is section 313? Ma'am, section 313 states that after uh, at any stage of uh, the inquiry or trial, the magistrate may ask any questions to the accused in order to explain the evidences against him. And after the prosecution witnesses have been examined, the magistrate shall examine the accused. Uh, if we talk about natural justice, uh, if we talk about natural justice, to so which uh, rule of natural justice applies on section 313 of the RPC. Ma'am, body order and part Okay, good. And uh, what is bail? Ma'am, bail. Ma'am, bail. Uh Ma'am, uh, bail is a provision whereby accused is uh, set free from custody, detention or arrest and he is handed over to security uh, who ensure his presence in court. Okay. Is it uh, correct to say that bail is a form of detention? Uh, Ma'am, uh, it is... Uh, not, not in a total, total sense, sense but, but in a partial, partial sense, sense ma'am. How partial? Ma'am, because, because uh, the, the custody, custody is shifted from the to the to the security the sureties, ma'am. Mm -hmm. So, so ma'am, it, it is a constructive, constructive kind of detention. Yes, so it is not partial. It is hundred percent. It is a detention itself. Okay. okay. It's just the lawful custody is now shifted. If we call about the police custody, if we call about the judicial custody, it is now, it is shifted to the sureties. Still, he is under detention. He is under the detention under the securities. Okay. What happens when the defendant does not uh, file written statement? Ma'am, if the defendant does not file written statement within prescribed time, mm -hmm. uh, then ma'am, maybe ex parte decree can be passed again. Maybe? Yes, ma'am, because ma'am, um, yes, ma'am, if he doesn't appear in the court, ma'am, I have read It is the about the appearance. I am asking ki, uh, if he does not file the written statement. Appearance, non appearance is the another thing. I am asking ki when mm -hmm. if he does not file the written statement. Ma'am, firstly, firstly, the court, court will give, give him time if, if he gives give reasonable excuse. excuse. Okay, fine. How much time is given for the written statement to be submitted by the uh, defendant? Ma'am, 30, 30 days. First 30, 30 days and, and then, then it could be extended, extended for a period of 90 days, days if the court, court gives uh, uh, permission. In, tw in total, yeah, 120 days is Nine. given to the defendant to yes. file the... Okay, fine. Go through this. Okay. Ex parte decree you have told me. What is ex parte decree? Ma'am, when uh, the, the defendant, defendant does, does not appear, appear in the uh, trial, uh, sorry, sorry ma'am, ma sorry ma'am, sorry ma'am, if, if the, the defendant, defendant does not appear before the court during proceedings, proceedings then a uh, uh, court can pass a uh, decree which is known as ex parte decree. decree. Okay. In the, the decree, decree in, in absence, absence of defendant, defendant is ex parte decree. Can defendant go for the appeal against ex parte decree? Yes, ma'am. How? What's the reason behind? Ma'am, Section 96, 96 of Clause 2 itself provides, provides for the law when defendant can go for appeal in ex parte decree. Also, also second appeal can be filed under Section 100 and uh, uh, Section 100 of Clause 2. Okay. Uh, if we talk about maintenance, okay. Yes. Maintenance under Section 125C RPC. Maintenance is also given in Hindu Marriage Act. Correct. What's the difference between both of these uh, sections maintenance? Now I'm not the uh, calling right now.
What is the view of yours regarding triple talaq? Uh, Ma'am, uh, the instant triple talaq has recently been uh, criminalized by the uh, parliament by passing of law. So, Ma'am, uh, um, Ma'am, it is somehow giving some opportunity to the women uh, that uh, they should uh, they should not be left by their husband by their whims and fancies, Ma'am. Uh, but but ma'am, recently because we see the plight of the women as they have uh, shown that it is like they cannot even leave their husband or they cannot even, uh, ma'am, uh, they have not even been divorced nor they are, ma'am, their plight has been very, uh, in a very sad situation, ma'am. So ma'am, in, uh, ma'am, the legislation has been uh, very just for the women. But ma'am, its practical implications have not been mm, in a good uh, way, ma'am. So, so ma'am, ma my views, views are ma'am that, that uh, the, the criminal, criminal la the criminality procedure should ha uh, should have been avoided ma'am. So, so that ma'am, uh, to, to some, some extent, ma'am, women, women could have uh, because ma'am, if, if they will be in jail, ma'am, how will they provide, they provide uh, maintenance, ma'am? Because, because that has been given simultaneously in the act. Uh, Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, Correct. Uh, uh, what do you understand by PIM? Uh, Ma'am, public, public interest, interest litigation, litigation is a litigation which has been, uh, uh, which is initiated by a public spirited person espousing the cause of another. Okay. What should be the grounds regarding uh, filing of PIN? Ma'am, there is as such no grounds mentioned, but Ma'am, under Article 32 and 226, a public spirited person can file PIN for the uh, Persons who are not eligible, who are uh, deprived of approaching the court because of financial reasons or any other sufficient reasons. So, for the financial reason, uh, reason there is indigent food. You can, they can go with that also. Why PIL? Mama. Ma'am, there are people who cannot approach the court, ma'am. Basically, for them, ma'am, that is because the court, uh, the provision of local standard has been liberalized in PIL. What is the full form uh, of uh, PIL? Ma'am, public, public interest, interest litigation. litigation. Okay. When we talk about public interest litigation, the initial two words itself says, when a public at large, there is some right, yes. there is some yes. interest, interest which is infringed. And the yes. question is raised in the court. Okay. Yes. Okay, fine. If we talk about amendment. Yes. Which um, article relates with amendment under Article 368. 368. Kinds of amendment? Uh, Ma'am, there, there are three, are three kinds, kinds of amendment, amendment, amendment by simple majority, majority special majority and special majority, majority by ratification. Ma'am, but Article 362 talks about the special majority and special majority, majority by ratification. What do you understand by ratification, amendment by ratification? Uh, Ma'am, uh, ma should, should I say, say the entire, entire procedure? Ma'am, firstly, uh, it, ma ma by not ratification. Not the whole procedure, I just want to know in the simple words, what do you understand by ratification? Ma'am, it, it should be... Uh, Ma'am, the half, half of the state, state must at least consent to the amendment. Okay, the amendment is sent to the states, all the states of India, and uh, at least half of the state should be supporting Consenting. the uh, yes. consenting. Yes. Yes. Okay, fine. Advisory jurisdiction under section 143. Yes, ma'am. What do you understand by that? Yes, ma'am. Uh, uh, ma'am, whenever, whenever a question, question of public importance comes before the uh, pa president, it may be of fact or law, and uh, the president uh, feels, and, 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 and the opinion of president, it uh, should uh, be decided by Supreme Court, then it refers the, uh, the matter to Supreme Court for its uh, decision. Okay. Uh, what is the rule of law? Who gave the rule of law? Ma'am, firstly the rule of law was given by Justice Cook and then it was further enhanced by A.V. Dicey. Okay. What are the three principles for the doctrine of rule of law? Ma'am, equality, equality before law, law hmm. supremacy of law hmm. and judge-made laws. Explain any of them. 
any of them only one ma'am equality is the sole law okay fine uh, uh, ma'am it says that all the persons of whatever rank uh, be sub- will be subjected to the same law it is a negative equality mm-hmm. uh, ma'am whereby the state is uh, uh, negated from doing certain acts in order to provide justice okay what is the difference between constitutional law and administrative law yes ma'am uh, ma'am constitutional law is a we can say it is a genus and administrative law is its species constitutional law basically lays down the uh, procedure for governing the country by uh, uh, by mandating functions of different organs of the government whereas administrative law lays down mechanism for controlling the acts of the government so that uh, it does not uh, infringe upon the rights of people okay what is the difference between bar and bench ma i don't know clearly i don't know okay bench is regarding judges we call the be- judges bench and all bar is regarding the advocates all india yes. bar council okay so yes. bar is related to advocates and bench is related to the judges yes. okay companies act is also there no your optional subject was company and commercial law yes. is correct i'm not correct okay what do you understand by a company simple ma'am it is what Yeah, yeah, I mean, it's a body, body of individuals, individuals who have been incorporated under a common name, a common seal, and uh, ma'am, basically, company is an artificial person who has a, uh, a separate legal entity from its members with limited liability and perpetual succession on a common seal. अच्छा, if uh, we talk about the company and CSR, यानी corporate social responsibility. what is the corporate social responsibility and which companies are responsible for csr ma'am i have not revised ma'am so ma'am abhi aap kya kya okay in company law na let me uh, give you something na in company yes, law ma'am. go through the kinds of company definition of company and uh, csr is there auditor is there yes, liquidation ma'am. of company the major major portion which is yes, there ma'am. in the company law okay in the next interview we will be discussing more about the company law okay okay, okay. ma'am we yes, prepare ma'am. at that time company law yes, we will ma'am. be discussing we will be discussing evidence also okay in the next uh, interview okay tpa is there right yes ma'am. describe uh, property under tpa ma'am uh, property, property under tp ma'am only property ma'am only property ma'am uh, property, property can be classified as immovable property and movable property immovable property means land benefits to arise out of land things attached to earth except standing timber growing crops and grass and movable property is every property which is not immovable property okay perpetual succession what do you understand by perpetual succession Uh, ma'am, uh, it, ma'am uh, it says that uh, the death of a company will not lead to the end of the company and ma'am it will keep on going okay. ma'am it revised company i will say okay mortgage types of yes, mortgages ma'am. under tpa act yes ma'am uh simple Ma'am, can I just name it because I don't remember the account. Mm-hmm. Ma'am, simple mortgage, mm-hmm. mortgage by conditional sale, mm-hmm. use of structury mortgage, mm-hmm. uh, English mortgage, mm-hmm. mortgage by deposit of title deed, mm-hmm. and anomalous mortgage. Ma'am, six types of mortgage. Okay, fine. Use of factory mortgage. What is the meaning? Yes. In a very layman language, I want to know, not the bookish one. Ma'am, the possession of the property is transferred. and the uh, to the, the mortgagee mortgage by the mortgagee and mortgagee can, can enjoy the usufruct of the mortgage that is he can enjoy the benefit arising out of the property like rents profits etc okay redemption clock of redemption what is that related to the mortgage yes ma'am it is provided in section 60 of the transfer of property act it states that whenever the uh, mortgage money has become due then mortgagee can after paying the mortgage money or tender to pay the mortgage money 
can uh, get his pro- mortgage property back from the mortgage G. Okay. Uh, what is the difference between mortgage and charge? Yes, ma'am. ma'am. Firstly, ma'am, uh, mortgage can be created by uh, only act of parties, but charge can be created by act of parties and operation of law. And my mortgage is transfer of an interest in immovable property as security for payment of debt. But ma'am, in charge, there is no transfer of interest. It only creates a right to be uh, right of payment out of certain property. And my mortgage has relation with debt. Charge has no relation with debt. Okay. What is caveat emptor? Ma'am, it says that the buyer be aware. The rule has been provided in section 16 of Sale of Goods Act. It says that uh, the seller is not bound to disclose the defects in the goods, nor he has to make the buyer aware that the purpose for which he is buying the goods is uh, uh, is useful for him or not. Okay, and caveat vendator? Ma'am, it says that let the buyer, let the seller be aware. Okay, fine. What is the difference between sale and agreement to sale? Yes, ma'am. Ma'am, in sale, the ownership of goods is transferred from seller to the buyer, but in agreement to sale, there is no transfer of interest in the uh, interest in the goods from seller to the buyer. Uh, ma'am, in a sale, cre- a sale is an executed contract, whereas agreement to sale is an executory contract. Ma'am, sale creates right in rem, agreement to sale creates right in personam. And ma'am, when in sale the buyer does not pay the price of the good, the seller can sue him for the price. But in agreement to sale, ma'am, the, uh, the seller cannot sue the buyer for the price, he can only sue for the damages. Okay, fine. Okay, Anjali. Uh, concepts are clear. Okay. One thing is that, ki bohut zyada, yes ma'am, wo jo cheez ho rahi hai na, that should be not there. Yes ma'am. Calm down. Sorry, ma'am. ठीक है काम रहो सबसे पहले क्योंकि होता क्या है ना वंस यू आर आंसरिंग द क्वेश्चन इट्स लाइक कि मतलब एक छोटा बच्चा नहीं होता जल्दी 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 सब कुछ बोलना है थोड़ा सा आराम से रुक के बोलो ठीक है एकदम जल्दी 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 नहीं भागना है आराम से दे विल बी गिविंग यू टाइम जितना टाइम उनको उन्होंने आपके लिए सोचा है दे विल बी गिविंग दैट मच टाइम टू यू ओके आप जल्दी जल्दी बोलोगे अब जो इंटरव्यूअर है आपको अगर नहीं समझ पाए तो वो गलत हो जाएगा ठीक है जल्दी जल्दी बोलोगे तो कुछ चीजें आप मिस कर जाओगे करेक्ट थोड़ा सा आराम से बोलो जल्दी जल्दी में मत भागो दूसरा ये है कि सेक्शंस आप नहीं बता रहे हो yes, है ना सेक्शंस आप नहीं बता रहे हो थोड़ा सा कोशिश करो कि सेक्शन को भी डिस्कस कर दो दूसरा ये है कि एक सौ पच्चीस वन ट्वेंटी फाइव सी आर पी सी और हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट ठीक है अब देखिए सी आर पी सी किसके लिए होता है सबके लिए होता है पब्लिक एट लार्ज के लिए होता है क्या वो रिलीजियस है नहीं है ठीक है हिंदू हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट सीधी बात है भाई हिंदू के लिए बना है ठीक है तो सबसे बड़ा डिफरेंस तो यही हो गया ठीक है yes. और यहाँ पे आपकी जब आप सीआरपीसी में आते हो तो यहाँ पे आपकी नाम क्या है क्रिमिनल प्रोसीजर कोड क्रिमिनल की तरफ लेके जा रहे हैं आपको ठीक है अगर आप पेमेंट नहीं करोगे तो देर विल बी अ क्रिमिनल लाइबिलिटी फॉर दिस ठीक है और हिंदू मैरिज एक्ट में क्या होता है आपके सिविल सूट चलते रहते हैं ठीक है तो ये चीजें कुछ कुछ चीजें ना जो क्वेश्चन पूछा जा रहा है उस क्वेश्चन में ही आंसर छुपे होते हैं ठीक है जैसे पी आई एल का था तो सिंपल आप फुल फॉर्म से ही आप निकाल के बता सकते हो ठीक है पी आई एल से अगर आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछा जाए तो भगवती जी का जरूर आप बताइएगा ठीक है ही इज वेल नोन फॉर पी आई एल एट सेल्फ बाकी ऐसा कोई वो नहीं है बस ये है कि हाँ अच्छे से थोड़ा सा आराम से रुक के बोलो और दूसरा कंपनी लॉ को अच्छे से पढ़ लो सबसे पहले तो कंपनी मीनिंग ऑफ कंपनी एंड काइंड ऑफ कंपनी इट्स इम्पोर्टेंट और फिर आपके जो मेमोरेंडम होते हैं क्योंकि अगर कोई इंटरव्यूअर आपका कंपनी लॉ से आ गए तो वो पूरा फिर कंपनी लॉ ही पूछ डालेंगे आपसे ठीक है मेमोरेंडम इज इम्पॉर्टेंट है 
और डेबेंचर और शेयर कैपिटल में डिफरेंस क्या होता है ठीक है ऑडिटर्स थोड़ा सा देख लेना ऑडिटर्स कैसे आते हैं क्या होता है बोर्ड देख लेना कि बोर्ड क्या होता है कहाँ पे दिया गया है ठीक है और अमेलगमेशन वॉट इज द मीनिंग ऑफ अमेलगमेशन अरेंजमेंट एंड कॉम्प्रोमाइज आपका चैप्टर 15 में दिया हुआ है एंड एक आपका हाँ सोशल कॉर्पोरेट सोशल रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ये इम्पोर्टेंट है कंपनी uh, किस तरह से आपकी वाइंडिंग अप हो जाती है वाइंडिंग अप ऑफ द कंपनी एंड लिक्विडेटर कौन होता है एसेट्स uh, एसेट्स को एनालाइज करते हैं ना लिक्विडेटर्स वैल्यूएशन के लिए होते हैं लिक्विडेटर्स बस इससे ज्यादा नहीं हाँ बस इससे ज्यादा की जरूरत नहीं केवल आपको ब्रॉड ब्रॉड पता होना चाहिए ठीक है एन आई ए में हाँ एन आई ए में नेक्स्ट में हम आपसे क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे रिलेटिंग टू चेक चेक बाउंसिंग क्योंकि रिसेंट बहुत केसेस आते रहते हैं आपके चेक बाउंसिंग में तो आपका लिमिटेशन पीरियड कितना होना चाहिए कितने तरह के आपके चेक्स होते हैं ये सारी चीजें इम्पोर्टेंट है और फिर एन में इंस्ट्रूमेंट्स कौन कौन से हैं ठीक है तो ये सब चीजें आपके लिए इम्पोर्टेंट है अच्छा दूसरा ये है कि बिहार का स्टैटिक हाई कोर्ट वगैरह पता है नहीं पता है अभी देखना बाकी है ठीक है फिर नेक्स्ट उसमें हम क्वेश्चन पूछेंगे रिगार्डिंग द चीफ जस्टिस ऑफ पटना एंड ऑल ये सब चीजें ठीक है चलो कुछ और आपको पूछना है कैसा लगा इंटरव्यू देख के इसीलिए जरूरी होता है मॉक इंटरव्यू ठीक है सबको पता है की कोई भी वुमेन वाइल्ड मैं वो अभी भी टेम्पल में नहीं जाती है करेक्ट आप भी नहीं चाहते हो हम भी नहीं जाते हैं भले वहां पे उन्होंने वो चीज अलाउ कर दी है लेकिन हमारे अंदर ऐसी चीज है ना कि हम नहीं जाते हैं आज की डेट में भी मंदिर छोड़ो हम लोग घर के मंदिर में नहीं जाते हैं करेक्ट yes, तो भले ही वो ऑर्डर आ गया है लेकिन हम लोग की अपब्रिंगिंग ऐसी है कि वुमेन्स खुद ही नहीं जाती भले ही एम्पावरमेंट yes. कितना भी हो जाए ठीक है तो रिलीजियस hmm. में जो आपका व्यू होना चाहिए दैट शुड बी वेरी मच डिप्लोमेटिक इफ देर इज अ जजमेंट गो थ्रू दैट जजमेंट उसको अच्छे से सपोर्ट करो ठीक है बट इन द लास्ट जब आप कंक्लूड कर रहे हो थोड़ा सा डिप्लोमेटिक हो जाओ जैसे आपका आ, हिजाब बैन है आपने पूरी तरह से उसको सपोर्ट किया डोंट गेट एग्रेसिव विद दैट कि नहीं इट इज एम्पावरमेंट और ये मतलब बहुत ज्यादा आपको अपनी भावनाओं में नहीं महना है ठीक है बिल्कुल अपने अंदर आ, आराम से सेंसेस में होके आराम से आपको उस चीज का जवाब देना है और लास्टली आपको जैसे अगर हिजाब की बात करें तो इट इज ऑन द चॉइस ऑफ द Women's. they want to wear, they don't want to wear. It is up to them itself. ठीक है तो इससे क्या हुआ जब आपने कंक्लूड किया तो आपका ऑर्डर भी आपने उसको सम्मान दिया प्लस उसके साथ साथ आपने रिलीजन को भी उस चीज को रिस्पेक्ट दी है क्योंकि हो सकता है इंटरव्यू में आपके कोई मुस्लिम भी पड़ जाए ठीक है तो जब इस तरह की सिचुएशन होती है तो बी इन द लास्ट इन कंक्लूजन ऑफ योर आंसर बी लिटिल बिट डिप्लोमेटिक एकदम क्लियर मत बोलो नो और एम यस ठीक है फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट कौन सा है मैम कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन एंड एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव लॉ ये एविडेंस एविडेंस सॉरी ये आंसर कभी मत देना यस अगर पूछते भी है कि फेवरेट सब्जेक्ट कौन सा है कि नहीं सर एवरीथिंग इज ओके यू कैन आस्क मी द क्वेश्चंस ओके अगर बहुत ज्यादा प्रेशर देते हैं तो बात अलग है लेकिन अगर आपने एविडेंस या कोई भी एक्सपेंसेट सब्जेक्ट बोल दिया तो फिर आप ये मान के चलिए आपका पूरा एविडेंस आपके टंग पे होना चाहिए इट शुड बी दैट मच स्ट्रॉन्ग वॉट इट ठीक है ठीक है ओके बेटा ओके
हाँ जी अभी 